Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and I'm just making a very short video just to talk about something I found out today. I found out that Project Cars 2 has been announced. Um, oh, and I'll say straight off the bat, if you guys can hear raining in the background, there's a typhoon in Hong Kong, so just a minor typhoon actually at the moment. So that's why you can hear raining. The rain is hitting my aircon, blah, 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 blah. I've said it so many times, but just because I always get like a comment saying, what's that noise in the background? Unfortunately, I can't do anything about it, so uh, sorry. But yeah, Project Cars 2, I don't know guys, I am not feeling too great about this. I was one of the people that that um, funded the first game. I funded Project Cars 1. Project Cars 1 um, has just been released like a month ago or very recently. Um, and now, already they're looking for pro Project Cars 2, and not only that, they're going for the whole crowdfunding thing again, which I could accept this the first the first time because, um, from my understanding, the first time around, slightly mad studios basically um, it enabled them to be released from a publisher like. The games that they were making before, they were published by a big company, and the big company would be um, paying for the, the distribution and all the marketing and all this kind of stuff. So they, when they actually made, when they, they decided they would make their own game, Project Cars, um, I could understand why they did the, the crowdfunding element. Um, because, you know, that, that was their first kind of breakaway where they didn't have to use a publisher. However, I'm pretty sure that Project Cars sold a lot. I'm pretty sure it sold a lot. And surely, what you would have expected is, is they would use the profit from the first game. Maybe not all of the profit, but surely they made enough. I mean, it seems like it was a really, really popular game. Like, I know in England at least, um, it was released and it was at the top of the, the sales charts. So I'm pretty sure you would expect they made enough from that to then not have to do the whole crowd funding thing again. I mean, I think it's more of a personal opinion. In my opinion, when I heard about this, I'm like, the first one has just been released and then you're asking again for crowd funding for the second one when you hardly even like fleshed out the original game, but you haven't really, you know, you would expect that someone would go further with the first game, make sure it's really full of content before they do the second game. Like you look at ETS, your own truck simulator. That game has been out for years and they're still updating it. They're still releasing DLC. They're still actually going further with the game. This one, it just, doesn't feel very great to me and I would love to know what you guys think like it just seems too soon I don't think it's a good idea I mean they've already raised like 300,000 euros already so I'm you know I think it'll be interesting to see how many people actually do back this game the second game over the first game the first game there was loads of like excitement oh you know they're gonna actually make their own game. It's gonna be more like a simulator game. They don't have to be restricted by the publishers and all this kind of stuff. So the first game had quite a lot of, I wouldn't say hype, maybe a bit of hype around it, but you know, the community and especially the sim community, because what we thought in the sim community was that this was gonna be a game that when it was released would be more like a simulator game. Maybe not hardcore, but we thought it would be more, but in the end it turned out to be not very hardcore really. I mean it does, it's, you know, bordering slightly more on the simulator than the arcade. Or, you know, it is verging on the simulator, but it's not as hardcore as we thought it would be. So I'll be interested, first of all, to see if the, if the take up from the sim community is as much as with the first game. 
but they might find that the first game was you know really successful with the the, the main stream and they might be the people that fund the second game anyway it's kind of kind of turned into a bit of a rant video i would love to know what you guys think like i said i just think it's way too early i don't understand why they're doing the crowd funding i mean in my mind and i could be wrong but i've said this in other in in other videos but in my mind i feel that the whole idea of crowd funding the reason that it existed the reason that websites such as Kickstarter actually started was because there were people out there with ideas for a game but they didn't have the money so then they would actually go out there they would do a pitch and they would get the money and they would they would make the game um, and like I said Project Cars 2 they've already made loads of money from the first game why do they need to go back they are effectively now a big company like how many people do you think work there at, at um, Slightly Mad? I think it's a lot. So how can you say that they're the kind of company that needs crowdfunding? But then again, there might be people out there that don't really care if the company's big or not. They don't really care about what the idea of crowdfunding is. Maybe they just think, oh, we get to play the game early. I don't know. But you see, I'm, I'm really not anywhere near as excited by the second game as the first game. Like I said, the first game, I funded it very quickly because I thought it was gonna be a really interesting game like with more like a simulator feel. In the end, it is a very good game and you know, it is enjoyable, but you know, I would say that I wasn't as impressed with the end result as I maybe expected and it turned out to be a bit more arcadey than I would have thought. But that's just my opinion. All of this video is just my opinion. So there you go, guys. I would love to know your opinion because it's going to be very interesting to see what the reaction is. Um, but I just don't see how they can, you know, start this so early after releasing the first game. And they've already, already got the minimum system requirements. They already have for the second game. The minimum system requires. How can they say that already when it's literally at the the point of being being funded? I don't know. It just seems kind of dodgy that they just kind of started out. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are not going to like the idea of the first game has just come out. People are just thinking of it, of investing in DLC for the first game in the future, and then all of a sudden here it is, the second game. I don't know. Anyway guys, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this short video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.